Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing Ulta. This was the play of the day on Friday. I called a few options trades in this, too. They were all puts. Uh, they all worked. Uh, but this is this is something where when you when you look at it and you look to do it, you have to be very, very specific for the entry because I'm just going to pull this up here. Uh, this this really collapsed. I mean, I, I, honestly, I saw this the night before. It was Thursday evening when it reported. Closed the night before at 337.45. Jeez. And open at 252.81. It was even lower than that at one point um, in, in the morning. This was Friday morning. Then it had a, a little bit of a rally, but it still dropped and broke. And, uh, you know, with a holiday week, I think that people could have taken profits on this on Friday, but I did call the puts out for quite some time, and this definitely can break further. I would say that this might have some rest days in in the, in the coming week, but if, if you're still in the puts, if anybody on the newsletter is still in the puts and wants to hold it through, um, this could potentially go to, I originally said 225, 220, 215, 210, even 200. It's just a question of timing. Is it gonna go straight down there? Is it gonna take a couple of weeks? I mean, in this market, anything can happen, but I definitely think that this was a devastating, devastating move for the stock. Um, and I would be shocked if this recovers anytime soon. And so again, uh, the stock was at previous highs back here right before the earnings. This was just in July, 368.83. And this has been a very strong chart very strong chart but this chart is now in a downtrend so you know just like that and that is as quick as it can happen uh this is exactly what happened with this and the market was weak on friday but this really was weak on friday and you can even see here that it hardly moved and rallied at all at any point in the afternoon once it finally broke in the morning which was still early still early in the morning this based out and basically just fell and pittered out the entire afternoon. I mean, I, I don't know if this gap's down on Tuesday or not, but I guess it could. I guess it could. I, it just had such a big move from Thursday to Friday. I'm talking about from Thursday night into the close on Friday that I believe that people could have taken all of the profits out from the puts that I called on Friday and just been done with it into the Halloween week. But I mean, the chart looks lower to me now because it's broken. That will happen. Occasionally, you will get these very sizable gaps. They could happen up, they could happen down. Alta was one that definitely was uh, a short. Again, we called it in the day trading room as an equity short, and you could have done puts in it. I called a bunch of different strikes, and again, they all worked. And it's just a question of watching them for bigger moves, or you can exit with profits. But I, I, I think Alta was just there was a devastating gap. So it was very, very important though in this market for people to take profits. So. Never gonna fault anyone for doing that. If everybody got out of every one of the trades on Friday before the close, I think that was perfectly fine because of the three-day weekend. Have a great, great weekend, everyone. If you need anything, email me at melissaatthestockswoosh.com. If you wanna sign up for the Gap Options newsletter, you can email me at melissaatthestockswoosh.com.